All right, we're going to take a look today at the 11 Hut 2L Plus microscope. Comes in several colors. This one, as you see, is lime green. And I'd like to point out, this is not a toy. This is a real working microscope, and I've, I've had a lot of fun with it for the last two or three days. Uh, as I said, it's all, well, not all metal construction, but the, the frame itself is metal. Uh, it's nothing flimsy about it at all. It's very solidly made. Let me just go over it a little bit with you here. First of all, on the back here is a plug where you can power it uh, with a AC adapter. Uh, you just plug this into the wall and it powers the lights inside. But there's also a battery compartment here. You just put uh, the batteries in and you can run it with the batteries while you, if you're out in the field or you know out somewhere where there's no AC power. Just go from top to bottom, we'll talk about it in a minute. Up here on the top is the eyepiece. It's uh, 16 power, and that multiplies by whatever the power of the lens is here. The three lenses we have, are, they're mounted on a turret. They're 4, 10, and 40 power, so you just multiply those by 16 to get the actual power. What really makes this work is, uh, well, let me go over the stage first. Here's the stage where you put the items on and you've got the little spring-loaded clips here that hold the slides down. Uh, it doesn't have a fine control, but I found this one to be very well. Uh, it's very smooth control and you can dial it right into where you get the right focus. Uh, as I was saying, what really makes this microscope uh, stand out over other microscopes, like some of the digital ones that I've seen lately, are the lighting. You have both an upper lighting and a lower lighting. I want to show you something here. The, the manual doesn't really cover this really well. Uh, I didn't understand it. But this is like, the style here is like a master control for the lighting. Right now it's off. Uh, if you put it on one, you get the lower lighting only. If you put it on two, there we go. You get the upper lighting only. It's coming from this LED up here. And if you put it on three, you get the lighting from both the top and the bottom, which gives you a lot of flexibility in doing the lighting. Once you've decided on the mode of the lighting, you've got a switch here. You just rotate it. It controls the intensity of the lighting. And you also have a diaphragm here. It rotates around. Again, it's kind of like a turret. It has different size openings to control how much light you allow to come in from the bottom. Uh, just a really well-made microscope. Uh, I've been having a lot of fun with it, and I'm going to come back in a minute and show you one of the reasons why I have a lot of, why I've been having a lot of fun. Okay, one of the, the things that really makes the microscope work, especially if you have children who are just getting into microscopy, is this book that comes with it, pretty thick. Uh, it covers the the beginning of it covers the, how the microscope works and how to use it. Uh, very informative. And when we get on over here in the later part of the book, it goes over a lot of experiments that you can actually do with uh, things like yeast cells and uh, uh, brine shrimp. And even uh, one thing I think is really neat, just go out in your yard after a rain where you've got a mud puddle in the grass and just, uh, you know, Get up a little drop of water and put it on there and see what kind of little creatures you see in there. Uh, you get this kit with it. It's got uh, glass slides here. You've got some of them already done, like the one on the top here is house fly legs. Uh, it's kind of gross, but it, when you look at it, you'll see amazingly all these little hairs that come out of the leg. Uh, if you remember the, the movie The Fly, it's kind of like that. And then back here we have some blank slides for use in doing your own experiments, which are described in the book. Uh, you've got, uh, this is a little hatchery where you can take the top off and put your like things like brine shrimp or other things that you want to kind of grow in here. Uh, pretty cool for keeping the uh, air and everything out while you're doing that. Also have a have a nice forceps for you know handling very small objects. You've got several of these little uh, 
experiments that you can do. Here's some yeast cells, here's some brine shrimp, here's some sea salt, things like that. And if you want to do some of your own experiments, here is a, this is called a microtome. It's got a razor blade here and you just simply put your object here and turn that and it just slices a very thin piece with something that uh, you will let light through so you can examine it under the microscope. So that's what you get. Uh, this is a really uh, fun thing. I'm not going to call it a toy because it's kids will have fun and they'll be learning things at the same time. They won't even know that it's an educational tool. Uh, but I can tell you, I remember when I had my first microscope, I was around nine years old. And I just, I was just amazed at the things you could see. Uh, just go out in your yard and bring back little insects or leaves or flowers and things like that. And they just, when you magnify them up to where you can see them on the microscope, it's just amazing to, when kids see what the world around them looks like. Uh, even just little things like salt and pepper flakes are just really remarkable. So, that's it. I love the microscope. I think your kids would really love it too. Uh, full disclosure, I did receive one of these for evaluation and review. And I thank you for watching.